Okay, quarterbacks coach Aaron uh, Price here. You've got uh, quite a battle on your hands, don't you? Doing well. We've got four guys that are really doing well. Two young kids that are doing good also, but uh, um, right now I think where we're at is, is a, I just told the quarterbacks, you know, today was a good learning day for us. We had two real big install days, and uh, I think uh, with their retention from the summer and the spring was real good. So that's that showed today we did some nice things, and they're making the right reads, they're doing the right things, and it's a real close battle. You know, I got a lot of good, good players here. So. Mike says there's starting to be a little bit of separation. You said maybe even over the summer there was some separation. Yeah, uh, yeah, we've you know we've 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 narrowed down some things, but. Uh, um, I don't think I've gone into a year where, where I could play four quarterbacks and feel comfortable with all four of them. Uh, and this year, I think I, I, we got that. Um, you know, it's a long year and a lot of things happen. So is that a good thing? It's a great thing. I mean, is it, I mean, it's a great thing. First of all, because you know you're gonna have a, you're gonna have to compete and come out here and play every day. It's also a good thing because you know if you lose somebody, you're not gonna have to change your offense. And uh, and and. And also, if you know some guys don't have a good day, then we can make a change without without a whole lot of difference. And then, and then you know, in practice, when we when we're spreading guys around a little bit, uh, everyone gets the same reps, and it's quality reps. And they got a guy behind the center that's going to make 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 everybody line up, and, and we don't miss a step when when those four guys are in there. So I'm real excited about it. And and the thing with you know with depth just makes you better. How about your receivers? I mean, I, I know that's not your group, but you're throwing to them. You got a good group. Yeah, the receivers right now are doing excellent. Job. Um, we were down in numbers uh, last spring, and I think uh, over the, the the summer they got in shape. They're running well. They're running faster than ever. I think we got a strong, solid core as we've had in a long time. Um, a lot of new names, but. Uh, that doesn't mean that we're not we, don't, we lack talent because I think we got a lot of good guys and we have good rotation. We shouldn't get tired because we have enough guys out there. Um, we got a couple of additions that has been phenomenal. Uh, uh, the new guys, Cliff Tucker, the basketball kid from El Paso, he's doing a great job. He's going to be a well, he's going to be a, a player for us. And then a junior college kid, Mike Edwards, has done a phenomenal job. So. Mike Edwards yeah. has shown why he was uh, Nick's go-to guy. Huh? Yeah, yeah, he's done a really nice job. And, and and then all our vets that are coming back and our seniors and upperclassmen guys, those are those are good quality receivers. And uh, we're going to be an excellent uh, receiving football team. Catching the ball great. Is there going to be any, do you see any kind of a change in the offense, the way it runs? Is it going to be a little bit more run-oriented no, uh, than no, the pass, I, or is it just going to be balanced? And? Yeah, we're multiple. We like to we like to show a lot of run formations and throw it out of it. We like to show a lot of pass formations and run out of those things. So we're going to be multiple like we always been. Um, we got mobile quarterbacks, so we can move, move that quarterback a little bit. Four really good tight ends, the best tight end group from top to bottom we've had here. Uh, in eight years that I've been here, and so uh, we're really multiple right now, which is going to make us hard to stop. Your uh, your running backs really have got it. I mean, they hit you with a bunch of different ways. Huh? Yeah, Myers looks like he's really finally starting to come on the way we kind of thought he was. Good going power. There. He's a good power running back. He's got great feet for a big guy. Um, got good speed. He's got a burst. Uh, Vernon Fraser's got you know unbelievable speed, and then and then Joe's kind of our all-around guy. So I think you know uh, we're as solid as we've been on offense in a long time, and uh, we can just keep working hard and stuff. And we're young, but uh, we don't lack talent, and uh, it's really exciting to see how we've been playing this fall. The improvement we've made from spring is uh, phenomenal. And we uh, the guys have really stepped up in uh, making plays. And, and, uh, well, we're going to be a defensive-oriented team this year, but uh, this offense is as good as we've been around from top to bottom as far as a group. I was going to say, it seems like everybody was kind of thinking that our offense just kind of vanished with the you know, well, loss of When you lose seniors, guys, it doesn't mean you don't have guys there. So then that's what happens. And just because you don't know who they're, what their name is doesn't mean they're good players. So, uh, so you know, we, we, we feel like we're, we're, they're really, really coming really together so, well, oh, too. Yeah, huh? yeah, we're really hitting on all cylinders and we're picking up the things. And we're still in install. We're still installing a lot. And so the thinking's there. So we're going to have some confusion, some busts, but, but uh, you know, a week or two. Camp's for. Yeah, exactly. In a week or two, it's going to be it's going to be exciting to see where this offense is because 
Uh, I thought we were going to be a little bit more controlled, but right now we're really, really explosive. Well, I like hearing that. All right, thank you. Appreciate yeah. it. Coach. That's awesome. Okay. See ya. All right.